Beyond the Ranch with Jay Gunnan from Find the Ranch. Welcome to Beyond the Wrench. My name is Jay Ganin, and today I welcome Russell Hill from Fixed Ops Marketing. Uh, Russell is a really, really fun person to talk to and and uh, has done a good job growing his company. So welcome, Russell. Great. How, how do people come up with the coupons? Like what 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 do you uh, suggest on the actual offerings that they, they put out there? So, I mean, is it just something as simple as like, hey, 10% off of tires if you buy four or, you know, like whatever, uh, you know, whatever that deal is, uh, do you help the shops with that or is it, it yeah. We do. Look, these fixed ops directors, these men and women out there that are in the trenches, you and I both know they're extremely busy, okay? They're doing their best to keep up with advisors, technicians, and all the things that come along with that. All they know, although they know that this is an important component, uh, but they're dealing with all that. The last thing, that they're not marketing people, Jay. They're not. I am. Oh, yeah. I know through exhaustive study and research the 15 highest performing coupons in the industry that convert anywhere from four to 18%. I know how they should be placed. Uh, people think, well, you just put a dollar amount on there and you go on down the road. Well, we make suggestions. Well, no, let's don't do that on this one. A dollar off or percentage amount off gets higher conversions than a dollar amount off does. It so, has a certain value associated with it that you're not going to get looking at the price. It's a price. Everybody's got prices. 20% off. Ooh, how much is that? Well, <laughs> but it makes them feel all warm and fuzzy, right? <laughs> so th this is funny because this is, uh, as a lot of people that have listened to this podcast for our entirety know, I, I spent some time as it's basically the fixed ops director role, but on uh, an ag and construction equipment dealership. So I, I left the automotive side for a bit and went over to that side. And one of the hardest things I had to do was come up with original like marketing campaigns for parts. Right. And, and it was tough because it felt like I was doing the same thing year over year over year. And the manufacturers would come and they would tell us, Hey, you know what, if you buy this in bulk, you'll get this, you know, when you, when you order at certain times, sure. you get a discount on this. So it became really honestly kind of boring to me uh, fr from that side. And it was because I didn't know enough about what to do with that. And I think there's probably, I, I, I would guess I'm not alone in that where you, you look at the coupons and you're like, okay, is this really enticing somebody? Is this, you know, it feels like I just did the same special like two months ago. And it, it's like, you know, I equate it to like, if you go to Kohl's and they run sales every single time you're there, and you're like, if you pay anything for, if you pay retail for anything at Kohl's, you're an idiot because <laughs> literally everything's on sale all the time. So I, how do you, how do you get out of that redundancy of, of like, Hey, this is the same special over and over and over again. Or maybe it's just like, Hey, this special is awesome. It works every time run it. Well, but you're the only one that knows that. Okay. Yeah. Cause the customers don't. Now I do see uh, a lot out there. When I, I'll look at somebody's uh, specials, coupons, etc., and they'll have, uh, I was just looking at one this morning, it had an expiration date of 12-31-2021. I mean, come on, no sense of urgency there, right? No, no. Got plenty of time to exercise that coupon. <laughs> There's not a price on there anyway. All there is is a print button. <laughs> What the heck am I going to do with a print button? I it, 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 prob it, it, it probably works like me with a, with a gift card. Uh, if I get a gift right. card that has an expiration date on it from like a small business, I'll be like, oh, yeah, I'll, I'll use that. I'll use that. And then I look and it's past the date and I never did use it. So yeah, there's, I, there's <laughs> you mentioned Coles a minute ago. My wife is an avid shopper at Coles. Okay. Yeah. And, and they know it too, because they do it on <laughs> Facebook and coupons in the mail, 20% off this one day sale. Right. And, and I said, and she's got, we're going to shop. I said, where are you going? And she knows I'm going to say this stuff. She, I said, why are you going to, 20% off of what? I mean, you got, <laughs> you, got, you, got, you got a third of the stuff in there with tags still on it because, but baby, it was a good deal. Uh -huh. and I said, okay. First of all, you're not going to go in there and get just that. You got to think about this. Okay. So uh, how much is, um, okay. Where do you got to go get milk in Walmart? It's at the very end of the store. They know that. They put out these um, manufactured smells and these little blinking red lights, these coupon things hanging out of them, stuff like that. 
and and or they say, well, I got to go to Walmart to get a gallon of milk. Let's say a gallon of milk is a dollar ninety eight, right? Yep. And I said, why don't you just go to the convenience store right there? Uh, well, because it's three ninety eight. It's cheaper at three ninety eight and a dollar ninety eight. She says, what do you mean? Or he says, or they say, what do you mean? Well, first of all, it takes twenty minutes to get to Walmart. The convenience store is down the road. Then you're going to park your car out there. You're going to walk all the way to the back to get this gallon of milk, and you're going to walk out with fifty dollars worth of crap, not just that gallon of milk that you saw at checkout, right? Then you're going to get out to your car, and you, all those people that don't put those carts up smashed into the side of your car. You got a big old dent, and you got the wear and tear and gas on your car, and then you're back here forty five minutes later. You could have been here in two minutes. Pay the three ninety eight. <laughs> I, I I agree. And I think, but those are all lessons that you can take though from how, how Kohl's does it or how, in, and that's something that, you know, even for our business here, that that's something that I've always kind of looked at is when I'm going out and somebody does a really good job at selling to me, um, whether that's physically or through marketing purposes or, you know, whatever, I, I try to take note of that because it, they've, put a lot more research and a lot more time into it than I have. I appreciate it. I, yeah. I, I really do. 